This video should be a quick one, and this mod is so simple I hesitate to even call it a mod. When you break down a button into parts, it's basically just a switch, a housing, and a cap, and most of them function in more or less the exact same way. You can easily change out the caps or insert artwork into your buttons. This piece right here. You might want to do this for the aesthetics, and I think it can really kick things up a notch with minimal effort, or you might want a slightly different button experience. Wood has a slightly different feel than stock, and concave inserts definitely have a very different feel. Mark Bueno sells wooden ones, Sleepy's Arcade sells custom resin ones, and Layer Shift sells concave options. The cons are you may sometimes need another full button or an entire set of extra buttons to cannibalize depending on the brand you choose, so you can see that it's not going to be feasible to do with every build. On the flip side, you can usually unload your extra two-tone button set counterparts on the R Fight 6 Discord or similar trading outlet to recoup a lot of that initial cost. Perhaps a better alternative is just grabbing the caps separately. Major brands like Sanwa or Samitsu offer mix and match caps for around the third the price of a full button. That means you can just grab what you need without worrying about investing in a lot of extra buttons. Just double check your button brand before ordering. But let's get started and show you how they open up. See these holes here? Inside are the prongs that keep the caps seated where they belong. All you need to do is insert a screwdriver or similar device and nudge the prong gently up and back away from the opening until it passes the button housing. If you did it right, the cap will look slightly tilted, just like you after that guy teabagged you in rank the other day. Repeat for the second side if necessary and it should come loose. And there we have it, an empty housing husk just waiting for that new cap. Pick out the appropriate one, then orient the cap prongs toward the holes and press down firmly. Perfect. From this, to this. Here's a Sanwa example. And Hori. and Crown 202. Now look at this. We can even insert art with clear or translucent caps. Just sandwich it between the cap and plunger. If the cut isn't perfect, the art can sometimes rotate slightly with aggressive play. If you don't have a compass or circle cutter to make it exact, you can get by with passable scissor cuts and just the tiniest bit of double-sided tape. Another solution is that if you ordered your print through Focus Attack, they have the option to select your button brand, so they will laser cut your button art areas to the exact specs of that brand for the perfect fit. Art can also be inserted into translucent buttons of different colors. They can also be done with both 30mm buttons and those smaller 24mm buttons. So it's very easy and can make a lot of difference with your fight stick art to help push that theme. You could even swap inserts on your two rows of normals to give it a bit more flavor for no additional money. Even just the two 3P and 3K macro buttons on the far right end can be enough to change the overall aesthetic of the build. Think about it. And speaking of buttons, how about you hit one more for me? Hey, thanks for watching. Support your locals, and I'll see you next time.